Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ox Talks. Appreciate you tuning in to watch this show. I think it's a very important topic I'm going to discuss just for a few minutes here um, shortly. But I first want to start out by saying thank you for supporting the channel. Please like, share uh, the videos uh, with as many people as you possibly can. And please subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. I want to keep growing uh, the viewership, growing the community, okay? Again, this will be relatively short, but I just saw it come off of uh, the real deal, uh, real estate news. And I thought it was very, very worthwhile sharing with all of you because anybody who is a renter in this country, and we know that a large swath of people uh, in this country are simply priced out of the real estate market. We know that real estate prices are at all time highs. Uh, we know that people are locked in uh, because they have mortgages at, at three, two and a half, three and a half percent, and rates are much higher than that now. Uh, and so we have a situation where we have, you know, really a, a, a renter nation. Uh, rents have been going up, uh, skyrocketing with inflation and everything else as well, as we know. And this now hits today that I see. The title of the article is Rents Expected to Rise as Multi family construction slows. All right, building boom choked landlord profits for years. Okay, let me share the article with you because if this turns out to be accurate in hindsight, it's not going to bode well for many people in this country that have to rent because they can't afford to buy a home. And now you're potentially going to have a large swath of landlords across the country being in a position to demand a more rent. It says the steady stream of apartment deliveries could soon slow to a trickle, which would give multifamily landlords the opportunity to raise rents once again. It says construction on multifamily units nationwide is dragging and down significantly from a peak more than two years ago, the Wall Street Journal reported here. Developers started feverishly building apartments during the pandemic to meet demand, but it says are now easing as financing on projects becomes harder to come by. In July, the annual pace, it says, of multifamily construction starts declined 22% year over year, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. It was down 41% from an April 2022 peak. Two years ago, it says rents were soaring, leading more builders into the sector and eventually oversupply. It says 610,000 units are expected to be delivered this year, according to CoStar, the highest level of completions since the 1980s. Annual completions are expected, annual completions, it says, are expected to decline in the next two years. So our view is all the new construction is going to finish in the next few months and nothing new is going to come online for the next two or three years, Hamilton Point co-founder Matt Sharp told the journal. This is a reassessment of supply and demand in the market should be a boom for owners, both in terms of rent profits and in terms of property values. Owners, a.k.a. landlords, if you're an owner uh, and you're fortunate enough to be in that position, this will probably bode well for you if it turns out to be an accurate assessment of what will happen with the constricting new units, uh, rental units coming on the market in the next two or three years. If you are a tenant, on the other hand, it's going to further, because we all know that inflation despite what the mainstream media is telling us, inflation, real inflation, is not coming down, okay? Inflation on food, inflation on uh, your insurance costs and your health care costs and your child care costs is not really markedly coming down in this country. And, and with the soon-to-be rate cuts on the way, uh, supposedly, uh, that's only going to further add to inflation, again, from a non-expert layperson's opinion, right? So, again, uh, the, the rent inflation, if you will, or the higher rents coming online in the next two or three years 
Uh, if you are a, a tenant, if you're a renter, uh, by choice or by necessity, this is potentially going to further add to a constricted and stressful situation for anybody in, who is having, who's having already having problem making ends meet, who's already seeing that their uh, wages are not keeping up with the price of inflation and goods and services and everything that we need uh, every day to survive and put food on the table for our family. The article says the slowdown in construction and expected jump in rents has institutional players getting involved where they can. KKR, Brookfield, and Blackstone are among the asset managers to make billion-dollar plays in the sector this year. It says in June, KKR spent $2.1 billion on 18 apartment complexes, a record multifamily deal for the private equity giant. Lonar's apartment building division, Quartera Multifamily, was the seller of the 5,200-unit portfolio. So when you hear this big players are, are, um, are looking to uh, make you know, big plays in the sector, what that means is they're looking to take advantage of uh, tenants and renters. I say take advantage, they're going to squeeze every single dime of the rents that they can out of these multifamily units and if it's accurate that the number of units coming on the market is going to continue to decline in the coming years at the same time that we may have a extreme rise in prices of everything else, continued rise and in inflation across this country, I, I, I feel, I fear, uh, and I feel horribly for those uh, that are going to be in that situation. So again, I just want to bring you the, the, the story I'd uh, love to hear your comments and your input, uh, what you think. Uh, please leave those comments below. I do read the comments. And, uh, you know, again, I, I'm not uh, trying to spread doom and gloom. This is not, I'm not, uh, uh, you know, predicting anything. I'm just sharing with you what I'm seeing here. And that was the first thing that popped in my head is how are people going to do that? How are they going to already stretch beyond capacity, incorporate uh, a landlord coming in and saying, well, we're raising your rent. If you want us to renew that lease, uh, you're going to now start paying you know, uh, more rent. Now, I know laws vary from jurisdiction to jurisdiction. Uh, there may be you know, rental caps in certain areas. This may not apply across the board. Uh, but, but to the extent that it will apply and will be implemented by owners and landlords, it's very scary and something all of you should be paying very close attention to. Okay. With that being said, I'll talk to you all soon. 